there we are there we are awesome hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is february 14th 2022 and 10 a.m monday morning and we're doing a live stream open discussion on investing and personal finance sort of as we mentioned before investing in personal finance and politics sort of go together um, we did do a current events live stream yesterday and we covered a fair bit of current events uh, information caught up with some of the news and we're going to be more focused towards the investing and personal finance aspect of our current societies aside from that while we wait for notifications to go out uh, on our discord and on our twitch uh, channel and we've done a lot of these by the way current events and we do have a investing in personal finance playlist on sensor tube with pretty good content if you want to know what this is really all about and it is definitely layered on mathematics elder god just went out nice nice uh, discord i'm assuming just went out <laughs> again if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you want to know what we're all about patreon is a great way to do so x2 saturn hey chicho how are you doing today doing good doing very good doing you doing i added to today i read words into sentences and stuff uh i'm doing good man enjoying uh sort of an early spring in the west coast of canada and we already got uh, like plants uh green coming out of trees and flowers the early early ones some of the flowers are out and stuff so it's cool to see aching for summer looking forward to a little bit of vitamin d across the board right and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support i hope you're enjoying the content we go all over the place uh but there's a few of you that have been there for a very very long time and gang thank you for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this as well as the support we're getting on twitch so for those of you here on this live stream participating in these discussions sharing information thank you very much for being here and for supporting this work i hope you're enjoying the content as well and mods 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 thank you for being here and taking care of business we would not be able to do what it is that we are doing without your support we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on minds we kick a parlor getter and bit cloud you can follow the work there as well as joining our discord server you can come to our chat anytime you want type an exclamation mark discord and the invite link will be there and the link will be in the description of this video when this live stream is uploaded to our all of our platforms i believe as well as the podcast that we're uploading to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho and this podcast the audio of these live streams where we don't have any visuals should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and google play and since this is investing in personal finance the odds are it will be loaded in its entirety on the sensor tube if the discussion goes somewhere where we can invest in places where we're not allowed to talk about on sensor tube and there are places that uh we have talked about that go against the narrative of what's taking place so for example when moderna stock was in the 300s and 400s during these personal finance and investing live streams i mentioned that family was riding puts on moderna and loading it up right and uh, the family cashed out on, on the puts on moderna a couple of weeks ago but family as of February 14th 2022 is back and puts on Moderna and Pfizer and they just liquid just today 
sold the puts that were riding on Johnson and Johnson so there is politics involved there if you know what's going on in regards to current events you could cash out right you could make certain types of investments based on the political situation of our societies to profit from certain stocks going in a certain direction right and that's what we can do right just looking at public data just imagine what those puppets in government can do when they're privy to secret information right and this last train will definitely be loaded on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey in its entirety. Aside from that, gang, um, we're doing investing in personal finance, and there's a lot of places to be. Um, Wall Street is going chaos. Uh, the crypto world is going to a degree chaos. Uh, certain investments are increasing in value leaps and bounds so for example used cars there are used cars that are up in the last year not even in the last year in the last few months let's say let's say in the last year um yeah let's assume in the last year there are used cars that have gone up anywhere between 80 to 60 percent 60 to 80 percent increase in value and if you want to get let me take these guys down too and if you want to get good data being presented to you from an unbiased perspective where you can follow some of this work you want to follow wolfstreet.com i believe it's dot com but which is a richard world <laughs> i keep off i'm very bad with names but if you want to follow good stats regarding what's taking place in the markets and stuff like this and this should be a first layer uh wolf street is very good and this data that i just quoted on quoted you some used cars are up anywhere between 60 to 80 percent i acquired from there we get that barney's good morning good morning hope you're doing well and it's been a long time it's been a while for you to pop in i think it's been a, a few months if i recall correctly figgy boy 96 how are you doing i had a leased car and just bought it out for sixteen thousand. His current market value is twenty three thousand. absolutely insane <laughs> going to flip it for brother i would do the same and there was a period in my life where uh, i had a friend i had multiple friends i used to buy they used to go to auctions there's car auctions that happen they used to go to auctions and i've gone to car auctions with them before where we we bid it on cars and sometimes he would go to an auction buy like six used cars bring them home right and he was a mechanic so he knew how to work on them and he would work on them and flip them for you know 10 percent more 20 percent more or something like this right right now used cars are anywhere some used cars are anywhere up between 60 to 80 to 100 percent right anybody in the used car business is making mint money and there are companies on the on wall street that are in the used car business and they're making mint money their stocks are down a little bit that means prices are most likely coming down All right we'll see we'll see also good to see you chicho and good to see you as well piggy boy welcome welcome to this Monday morning we can have parties yes timing school and work has made it challenging to attend or do anything i like that schedule yeah yeah oh thank you elder god wolfstreet.com wolfstreet.com insomniac alley how are you doing hope you're doing well chicho lovely to meet you lovely to meet you as well and welcome to our nice chill investing in personal finance live stream and by the way gang for snacks i got myself some pistachios pistachios and these are sort of salted i like this uh, raw is good salted is delicious as well uh you can get pistachios that have like lemon um sort of brine on them as well they've been soaked in it i'm not sure how they do it tell you the truth uh, but i don't get that because i don't know what's where they're getting the lemon brine from but salted um 
pistachios are really good and these things are addictive and gang if you're eating pistachios be nice to people who are sharing a bowl with you and bring an extra plate for the shells do not put the shells back sometimes it's fun back in the bowl where you're eating the pistachios because that way you got to go digging to make sure you don't you crack them all open we can with barneys but the good news is chicho is that i will be graduating in my associate degree in medical engineering engineering this april awesome 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 ronnie how are you doing doop, 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 doop. you can pull out sometimes pull it out directly doop, doop. investment is not <laughs> oh my god evil to hope how are you doing hey choo choo i hope you're having a blessed day indeed a very good day and these things are addictive insomniac alley salted pistachios are my favorite snack i had a teacher bring back a huge bag of them from iran nice where he was from and they were possibly the most delicious thing in the world yeah Persian pistachio is the best in the world. Really. Cheryl, how are you doing? And Cheryl says, and if you put shells back in ground, uh, back in around your mom, she may smack your hand. With, with love, of course. With love, of course. Hilarious. Funny, funny, funny. And don't let pistachio shells fall on the ground. If you're walking barefoot, it might they can hurt. They can hurt. And there's a huge thing with pistachios, by the way. If you guys don't know the story of the pistachio monopoly in the United States, look into the family that has like 90%, like the majority of pistachio orchards in California. And that's where majority of pistachios in the United States are grown. Look into the family that owns that company and the type of lo lobbying they did to get pistachios banned from Iran from coming in. So years ago, pistachios from Iran were coming into the United States and Iranian pistachios are the best, 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 best pistachios there are, right? And then this family kept on lobbying, buying off, right? Politicians, paying them off. And they passed a law and they banned pistachios coming in from Iran. And lo and behold, the family in California that owns all of those pistachio orchards controls like 80, 90 percent, whatever the market is of the pistachios in the United States. And while well, Canada gets Iranian pistachios, I believe these are Iranian. <laughs> I think they're above board. Uh, uh, they cornered the market. They got a monopoly. All right. That is part of investing. Insomniac Alley. I also discovered if you have a pistachio that won't open, you can easily use the shell of another to pry it open. Indeed. Let me see if I can find one. Here, check this out. See this? There's a little bit of crack there, right? Let's see if that's going to show. I don't know if it's going to show or not. See that little crack, right? Now, if you go in there, with your fingers it hurts the nails when you do it because you gotta go in there and if you do a lot of these repetition it's gonna hurt so what you can do is take the shell and put it inside right and then go click right and crack it open no pain get into the goodie use the tools we got all right evil to hope isn't it sad that free speech is being con uh, construed as terroristic activity and terroristic activity as on free speech by the corporate media as the u.s as free speech by the corporate media and yeah yeah evil to hope it is what it is right we talked about this yesterday during our current events live stream oh my god mongolia is one of the most exciting investment opportunities currently available in the world with over 10 billion dollars usc already committed 
for deep mining and infrastructure projects, Mongolia remains the final frontier for investors to benefit from con um, continual and rapid growth. Really, Aldegrad. China, Chinese companies and uh, Russian companies would have probably staked up a lot of that stuff. And I know in that area, uh, when I was doing geophysics in the 90s, um, we had one project that was in uh, Kirkmanistan, I believe. Is it Kazakhstan or Kirkmanistan? Uh, Turkmenistan, not Kirkmanistan, Turkmenistan. Um, or it could have been Kazakhstan, um, where it was bought resources and stuff. I didn't go because I didn't do mining and I wasn't interested in oil and stuff. I was more into environmental. But we did have a l very large project there, the company did. Eddie G, hey Chicho, perfect timing. I'm having a stressful day at work and I could use some of your uh, calling, calm, calming tone in the background as I work. Much love, brother. Lots of love right back, Eddie G. I hope uh, your work uh, day goes better than uh, the way it started. Now they got, I'm heavy in Mongolian investments. I am moving away from Western companies. Uh, yeah, and that part of it, uh, I would agree with to, to a certain degree. There are certain Western companies which is good to be in. Um, I believe cannabis companies are a great place to be in, even though family, uh, because cannabis companies have, have a huge run up in the last two weeks. They've gone up anywhere between cannabis stocks. They've gone up anywhere between the ones I follow anyway. They've gone up anywhere between 30 to almost 100% in the last two weeks or so. So family has reduced the position uh, cannabis position by 50 or more percent in some of those companies just taking profits off the table right but still a great place to be still holding positions and some crypto play is also in in uh, uh, not a bad place to be Ch -ch -ch. mongolia i got a elder god uh let us know in discord in our discord page uh, which Mongolian investments? I'd be curious to take a look at them. Calming, yeah, I caught that one, Eddie G. Calming is a good thing. Finish dude 2000, what's up, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to our live stream. Very fond of POC. First live, live stream I've caught, oh, party, woo. And gang, don't forget, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Looks like it's a quiet day today. Looks like it's a quiet day today. It's Valentine's Day in certain parts of the world, so people may be on dates and stuff in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening, <laughs> which is okay. I mean, I love the color of pistachios too, this fluorescent green color. Let's see if it'll focus. Is it gonna focus? Let's see. Oh, oh, no, it won't work. It's gonna pop out. Figgy boy to Elder God, please also provide info on how to invest in Mongolian companies. So you need a special brokerage or capital requirements. Do you? Yeah, you should be if they're on the markets, and it could be because what happens with uh, mining and exploration and oil, even agro, uh, you have sometimes Western companies cutting a deal with the country involved or the companies in the country involved to get a stake in whatever project they're working on right um, sometimes it's done in a dirty way a lot of the time especially mining oil it's done in a very dirty way so in general for our part our family it's uh mining hasn't been something that um, family has invested in for a very very long time Elga, no problem. I didn't think people would be interested in old world investment. 
so I never brought it up. Yeah, for sure, Elder God. Like some of the investments in uh, or companies that people are throwing their life savings into in in Wall Street right now that are positioned in the West. Oh, they're taking a huge gamble, huge gamble, huge gamble. As I've talked about uh, on previous live streams that we did with personal finance for last number of months, um, it's a trader's market and uh, there's a lot of amazing put plays out there, which is basically shorting the, the stocks. Very fond of PC, POC, Chicho. Have you uh, looked into natural natural asset companies natural asset companies like um what do you mean natural asset companies like oil and mining and stuff like this natural uh, like resources finish dude just finished my work day had a huge headache now going home it's 8 20 p.m here oh drive careful finish are you in finland how many hours ahead would that be that would be 10 hours ahead that would be 10 hours ahead you're scandinavian yeah insomniac i'm here to learn but i'm terrible with numbers unfortunately you know what you don't you don't have to be good with numbers you have to be good with pattern recognition trends so what you need to do is have a feel follow um a certain industry and get the quintessential graphs that you need to look at become familiar with them of how this company uh, financials are going and then see what the trends are and if the trends are in a certain direction then you're really investing in the trend you're not it's not a good idea to invest in a snapshot of a company's uh, financials uh, for just a short period of time it's a good idea to look at the trends uh, cycles uh, because everything's cyclic really figgy boy water yeah uh, unfortunately um, um, well fortunately uh, however where you want to look at it I, I'm not cool with uh, financialization uh, of water the way it's done on Wall Street so I tend to stay away from that uh, unless they're companies that are uh, producing equipment for construction like piping or just gadgets like there are companies out there that make a certain type of thing that you need for a connection here to make everything work right it's like computers you need like in video and stuff right you need the chips right so when it comes to water and stuff like this you can invest in companies that are providing uh, equipment infrastructure to manage water right which is legit i don't necessarily uh i haven't I have looked into them, but I've never been interested in investing in companies that own water. Um, it's just, I drew a line there. But there are, and I have the same issue with mining. Mining companies have created a lot of chaos and oil as well, chaos in the world. So the family doesn't really look into investing in those too much. Figgy Boy, FIY is a fantastic index for water uh, distribution and filtration companies cool 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 uh, you can get it pretty cheap right now uh, figgy boy link it up in our uh, personal finance investing in personal finance uh, uh, channel server um, folder uh, on our uh, discord page if you I think you are on there but I'll provide the link as well I used to know some of these companies a long time ago when I was doing a little bit of hydrogeology as well and stuff like this. Uh, so if you link it for link it up for us, I'll definitely take a look at a look at it as well. Uh, infrastructure I like. Infrastructure is good. 
El Agat, a figgy boy. I deal directly with companies generating Mongolia Metals Corporation. MMC is my primary investment. MMC, Mongolia Metals Corporation. Cool. Insomniac. I wouldn't even know where to go to look for stock trends. Uh, I've had some friends put money into cryptocurrencies, but I assume that's a bit, a bit different. It's it's almost the same. Uh, the uh, the you, one of the most basic one is the price. See what the price does over time, right? The best way to do it, Insomniac, is just going to one of the main platforms or secondary platform and just create a watch list if you want to follow certain companies just create a watch list and track them over time just graph their price and then slowly make it a habit just to check it on a daily basis or on a weekly basis to to see what kind of news been has been released about these companies and read the news and see how that affects the price it takes time to do this by the way you can't learn it in a day it's something that has to become part of part of your lifestyle to a certain degree and it's consuming news and it it will expand your life in a big way because all of a sudden you learn how our economy works politics works and you'll find out certain things affect other things right so it gives you a very nice ability to link between different systems right what affects what right what's going on oh oil prices go through the roof airlines are paying more for gas airline companies crash because they're losing money right oh supply chain is broken any company that's dependent on that supply chain like they actually have to deliver a product from one location to another location is going to get hurt all right uh, just stuff like that and over weeks and months and years you become really good at uh, recognizing patterns and trends figgy boy makes sense everyone has their own limitations and ethics with investing 100 percent, and that is key again uh, draw a line uh, to where you you're not really interested in investing in don't just because that way you add a little depth to your investments it means you're not just chasing money all right because when you're just chasing money you might come across a situation where you're in conflict with your ethics because you're only chasing money so you're blindsided by the ethics of that investment and that'll uh, cause you to make mistakes and one of the first rules of investing is preserve capital okay if you can prevent yourself from losing 20 percent okay that's equivalent to gaining 25 percent let's say right and the reason i say that is this assume you have a hundred dollars right Let's say your hundred dollar investment goes down uh, to eighty dollars, right? So you just lost twenty percent of your money, right? Twenty percent of your investment is gone. Now assume you invest eighty dollars, and the stock goes up, or your investment goes up to a hundred dollars. That's a twenty dollar increase on an eighty dollar investment. The same dollar amount, but from eighty to two. 80 to 100 dollars is a 25 percent increase right so if you're losing capital 20 percent capital right you have to gain back from a hundred dollar investment you have to gain back 25 percent on an 80 dollar investment to go back to where you were even steven right so preserving capital gives you a bigger yield than making capital that's the same right if you lose 20 percent in one investment and gain 20 percent another investment of equal value the gains are not the same you're still overall down right so one of the first rules of investment and there are many first rules of investment one of the first rules of investment or mantras of investment is preserve capital okay so that means you don't want to get blindsided with an internal conflict you might have because you'll make the wrong decision okay. John Zuck you still got those Moderna puts I think they're gonna pay off uh, John Zuck family was buying as you know Moderna puts in the 200s and the 300s and in the 400s right 
and family has been in and out of Moderna puts multiple times sometimes making pretty mint money return not 20 or 30 percent making 200 300 percent return right because Moderna's as far as family is concerned is a Ponzi scheme it's, it's, a, it's, it's a company that's worth at best ten dollars this morning and family was out of Moderna puts for the last couple of weeks right uh, that's the longest family has been without Moderna puts for <laughs> for a while right uh, because family has been riding these Moderna puts for the last year but family this morning got back into Moderna puts okay basically at the open so it was down like five dollars six dollars or something like that family got into Moderna puts and before the live stream was down twenty dollars or so uh, as far as I see it Moderna uh, is, is a, is a is a junk company uh, uh, my guess would be if things play out the way uh, they should play out Moderna stock will be way much much less than a hundred dollars much much less than fifty dollars within a year's time um, if not sooner and it should really uh, go bankrupt okay my my evaluation on Moderna and this is just estimation looking at trends and look following the news i haven't crunched the numbers uh i've only i haven't done it officially looked at the numbers but i've looked at their numbers uh is at best a ten dollar stock with serious ethical conflict of investing on it right piggy boy will do awesome awesome i don't invest in defense anymore for that exact reason yeah figgy boy a family does not invest in war machine okay elder god and i have to report i received zero valentine's cards so no one wants to invest in me <laughs> they're waiting for a dip <laughs> usually it's a good idea to invest in a company timing matters <laughs> when there's a dip so maybe tomorrow because you're down and out on valentine's day no card there's going to be a dip and they're going to come in and try to swoop you up elder god i <laughs> got elder god at a great deal <laughs> hold it on for a long haul <laughs> it'd be really crappy if they start trading you though or it might be fun who knows right a little bit of trade action might be might be fun very fond of poc natural asset companies are the first step to elites making dividends on charging us to breathe 100 percent the resources anyway uh, i'm okay with the infrastructure part of it uh like i used to follow this one company god this is 20 years ago or so where they sold the connectors for the pipes uh so you could manage flow <laughs> and their stock had just shot through the roof right uh it was insane uh, at its peak it was one of the greatest put plays you could have done finnish dude i'm from finland and i use a public transportation bus i don't own a car nice car is expensive gang by my estimation a car costs you about ten thousand dollars a year in expenses okay that's wear and tear gas maintenance and stuff like this right and that's what it, i did the calculations like 10 years ago or something like this for myself and it was about ten thousand dollars a year it was costing me to drive uh so once you stop driving if you can manage your life to work close to a home and don't take too many road trips you'll save a lot of money cheryl i i keep searching for a publicly traded group that is heavy in desalination tech can't decide if the lack of is due to tech being closely held uh, with intentions to use or closely held and hidden uh, I'm not sure from what I understand it's pretty expensive the desalination stuff I know uh, in the Middle East uh, governments are doing that but I think those are all private uh, the governments are doing it but there's got to be public companies that do this Cheryl if you find any let us know uh, when I was looking to it way way back in the day uh, the tech wasn't there yet to be able to do it affordably anyway I'm not sure where they are right now that would be great tech though 
I do, that'll be that'll be cool to look at Joe how are you doing Chicho are there certain companies or industries you refuse to invest in due to ethical reasons yeah for sure defense is one oil is another mining is another um, uh, pharma uh, family is okay with riding it down with puts uh, not okay with riding it up uh, and by the way gang just disclaimer family had puts on Johnson & Johnson that they sold today uh, with the big dip where it uh, on February 14th it dropped like three dollars 350 another three dollars 350 uh, so sold the puts on uh, Johnson and Johnson but acquired puts in Moderna and Pfizer okay or and acquired puts in Moderna Pfizer so okay with riding pharma companies down not okay with riding pharma pharma companies up uh, however there are certain industries uh, pharmaceutical companies we can categorize them that that are involved in uh, entheogens natural remedies that family does have a position in and i'm totally okay with those and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange or wikileaks playlist on sensor two drew why is moderna tanking they were almost filing bankruptcy for uh pandemic for, uh, before the pandemic yes um why is it tanking uh unfortunately that part of it we have to talk talk about during the current events live streams because because we're going to be loading this um this video on sensor two unless we just say no, we're only 30 minutes in. I'd rather not talk about anything. If you want, towards the end, if you ask me the question again, why it's tanking, I'll reply to it. But basically, as far as family is concerned, Moderna is a Ponzi scheme, one trick pony. Uh, nine times they tried to bring something to market, nine times they failed. And this one product was brought into market on an emergency use. And it's their one trick pony and their alternative remedies to this one trick pony and blah 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 and there's shadiness up the yin yang uh scam up the up the, up the yin yang it, you just follow it we, we followed it and i was i was telling people to short moderna not financial advice i was i was i was mentioning that family was shorting moderna when it was much higher much higher okay figure boy i believe uh, because is trending downwards and demand for injections is tanking indeed yeah pfizer is down too isn't it yeah big time not as much as no because pfizer has legit products but pfizer um has dug their own grave to a certain degree oh my god trading i've already done this <laughs> have you been have you been traded or have you done the trading or both but does he stream on youtube too or like what he's uh reading italy has a huge desalination plant but i believe that's government that's a good policy yeah a lot of government uh it's a, but there's got to be private companies providing some of the tech for these desalination plants right so or the services for these desalination plants or the software for these desalination plants right eels and cycling how are you doing i got the good old jj jab just so i could travel it got side sick anyway laugh out loud i swear it was water i hope so eagles and cycling i hope so i hope so and family enjoyed the riding puts on j and j <laughs> looking to get more put position with uh, uh with a bounce drew oh, okay cool i'll follow your youtube yeah we, i do have a sensor to uh, channel but we don't upload everything on sensor to if you want to follow all the content that we are uploading you want to be on bitshoot or rumble or odyssey there's been days where i upload like eight short little segments or six short little segments from taken out from live streams on bitshoot rumble and odyssey and only one of them if any make it onto sensor tube uh so youtube is sensor tube for us right uh, 
so if you want to follow the full content of what we do uh bitchute rumble or odyssey uh, are probably the best places to follow the work and sensor tube you can follow it Doop. Ch -ch -ch. let's keep it clean to last 10 minutes let's keep it clean to last 10 minutes <laughs> ronnie i took the job a long time ago but i did not get booster uh i did get actual covid over the past over past christmas cool my lungs feel effed up still ronnie yeah first time chat rye 87 how are you doing right to ronnie if you already have have long covid boosters won't help it just might protect you from reinfection yep still feel effect effed up really still ronnie that's unfortunate um look into remedies i think drew i had the second strain and the symptoms still come back up for a month oh no um the topic of conversation just keeps on wanting to go in one direction right as far as i'm concerned uh in terms of uh these injections and the companies that deal with them and uh these viruses and whatnot um families ride and puts on them <laughs> elder god easy to cut out the, the 10 minute effed up uh two comments so ronnie yeah shortness of breath and i wake up midnight because i stopped taking air oh crap ronnie that's unfortunate so it wasn't water or maybe it was eagles cycling i simply got a damn cold that's it <laughs> let's take investment in food let's take investment in food um uh, family is long smg miracle grow not that it's the best company in the world but eagles like i admit i gave in but again i got to see my family overseas can't not see see them guess i'm part of the no no it you were coerced not only piggy how are you doing hello chicho and chad hope everyone's doing good. doing good lonely piggy lonely piggy i'm eating pistachios salted pistachios or salty pistachios oh it doesn't want to focus come on they look delicious true i'm thinking investing in beef yeah uh, or alternative to beef family has uh investments in alternative to beef i know they're probably not the best companies in the world but ethically you're in wall street just being in wall street ethically is compromising the problem with investing in beef is uh governments might be introducing regulations to uh, collapse those industries and they already have to a certain degree right so even though the demand for beef is up governments will be preventing from those companies from being successful and bankrupting them and trying to divert uh, the consumption towards uh, non-beef products right which is one of the reasons family has long position in uh, one of the um one of the beyond meat <laughs> uh alternatives drew i'm off to class thanks for sharing your information good sir my pleasure drew hope you enjoy your class yes oregon in the u.s is trying to pass regulation to regulate beef indeed indeed and that is the problem right it's not about it's not about uh the need for a product or a service now it's about or it has been for a while regulation 
from centralized power right so we don't live in a market economy we live in an oligarchy communism fascism totalitarianism uh, controlled economy monopolistic <laughs> crony cap whatever you want to call it uh, it is not an open market where the great ideas are the ones that succeed okay and that is a serious problem uh, with our society lonely piggy starting pistachios always ends with an empty bag for me they're so good you just can't stop i know i've i've learned i need to maintain it otherwise i do exactly what you do let me take it talk, 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 talk. and then oh, you don't feel too good after eating a whole thing of bowl of pistachios keep the vegan army down <laughs> God says. funny lonely piggy beyond me just looks unappealing to me i don't think i could ever try it wholeheartedly i i have tried it uh some of the uh non-meat stuff they taste good but uh, flip a coin what's in it right a uh, very salty i think uh, but they, i know from uh kids coming up uh i've seen more and more kids uh not eating meat which is their choice their family's choice but that's one of the reasons family has invested in an alternative to meat companies is because this generation coming up um, they're consuming less meat good for us meat eaters <laughs> more meat for us <laughs> john's like it's crazy i can get local beef from farms way cheaper than the grocery store grass-fed too not poison yeah if you're going to eat beef you need grass-fed beef okay grass-fed beef is the way to go not grain-fed and grass-fed cheese and yogurt we're good with grass-fed uh yogurt we only eat grass-fed yogurt grass-fed beef uh, the cheese becomes more difficult to find only grass-fed cheese but when we can get it we get it xander how are you doing forgive me if you've discussed it before but any uh opinion on tilray a family wasn't tilray but because uh the cannabis companies have done a serious jump up and you know anywhere between 30 tilray is up 30 percent from the down uh as you can tell family follows tilray it went down to like six and a half 680 or something and it was at 920 or something today and on friday and stuff like this uh family sold acquired some further down and family has bought some further up to lost some money made some money but family has liquidated a lot of the at least half the positions they had in cannabis cannabis stocks and we did talk about this Xander, a little bit earlier cannabis stocks in the last two to uh in the last few days right because in the last two to three weeks cannabis stocks are up anywhere between 30 to 100 percent so and if you acquired at that dip it's not bad taking a 30 to 100 percent profit off the table so for example charlotte's web um as a friday it was up like 90 percent in a week not a bad time to take some profits off the table right but tilray is canada's largest cannabis company they have a huge stake to play in germany and they have multiple um interests in multiple companies in the united states and they've gotten into uh brewing business as well they bought a couple of brewing companies right so tilray is diversified it is um uh, family is looking to get back into tilray and family has played calls on tilray as well um nice payout tilray is is a company that family is tracking and uh will like to get into again a position and again however there are political stuff happening right now with the supply chain being broken in canada with like montreal passed a law saying that uh, no one can buy uh, if you want to buy alcohol or cannabis you need a qr code right uh certification of injection which to me is insane right that that is the most one of the most insane things i've ever heard so government right now in canada is putting a sh like a ton of pressure on canadian companies 
So they're putting the financial uh, stability of Canadian companies uh, uh, serious pressure on them, right? Some of these companies are going to go bankrupt because of the mandates and the pressure put on them by the federal and provincial governments. Okay, so i.e. the Canadian government is collapsing the Canadian econ economy, which is going to take down a few Canadian companies with it. Right. I don't think Tilray will collapse. However, families playing bounces on Tilray. OK, uh, would like to get into it again. But uh, based on the World Economic Forum, they want to bring in the Great Reset. And that it, that means that they need to collapse certain countries. And Canada has been um, is on the crosshairs. Eagles cycling, I like Beyond Meat. Tastes good. <laughs> good as fuck to me. Yeah, I had their sausages. They were really delicious, man. But man, they must have been so so much salt and stuff in them. I wouldn't eat it on a daily basis. It's not healthy, right? B. Even though family has a position in it, calls. B. Wouldn't you say there is always a kind of monopoly? Um. No, not always. Look at the cannabis industry. There is no monopoly right now. It's awesome, right? There's price competition. There's multiple places you can invest in. Uh, there's different types of products available, like the cannabis industry and the entheogen industry coming rising, right? Is uh, is brilliant. It's brilliant. Joe Chicho, have you ever watched the comedy series called Silicon Valley? No very funny and the investing stories are really interesting no i haven't joe i i detest silicon valley <laughs> so i wouldn't want to see them elder god the compulsory beef labeling scheme rules apply to anyone selling or supplying fresh or frozen beef or veal anywhere in the supply chain every food business that sells or supplies these meats must set up a traceability system the records that make up the traceability system contain reference numbers linking the traceability information to the labels of the beef this ensures that wherever beef or veal is sold it can be traced back to where it originated yeah and they're trying to do this with all food products by the way okay eagles and cycle i haven't eaten meat or dairy in four years oh yeah I ate meat. I can't remember yesterday. Jazunk. Plant burgers remind me of alchemy. You would see old things about witches. They use canola oil to and all this uh, man-made natural stuff. Yeah, natural stuff, right? Natural stuff. Elegant. I will never give up my beef, but I prefer local beef from UK farmers. Yeah, for me. I prefer uh, the beef that we get 99% of it is island grown beef like BC if not island it's within BC or Alberta too Alberta too Alberta's got good beef oh god I will never papa pa, pa, uh, beef I will never give up lamb 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 the BC lamb is so good so good lamb is so yummy 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 ah chat chat's kicked up a little bit let me let me get caught up with chat see where we're at scooty how are you doing i have money just sitting in savings and wondering if it would be worth investing in stock but i don't really know how to go about it uh scooty uh start doing some research and just start following some stocks the best way to learn about the stock market is just to follow some stocks just go to one of the main financial platforms their pages and just create a portfolio free don't invest or create a watch list and just follow those stocks and read the news that's coming out on them and look at their charts on a daily basis just to see what they're doing and how the news affects them if they put out a big news see how the stock is affected and slowly You'll learn how it works. You'll get into the trend and listen to their uh, 
their financials, their results, quarterly and yearly results, especially their listen in, tune into their conference calls. Okay. And slowly you learn things. Oh God. Looks like meat meets back on the menu, boys. Eagles is like me too. I've got 130 grand sitting in a dumb checking account, losing money daily, no clue what to do. Gang, get into something that you love, right? Like, seriously, I don't know. Eagles and cycling and um, the, 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 the junk is it junk. Uh, I forget who it was that said they have money sitting in whatever. Look, if you guys like comic books, look into comic books, find out, you know, decide what character you really like and what some important issues are. You can do research, and if you find something that is reasonably priced, that could be an investment. It's art. Instead of sitting in a checkings account, because like you said, it's just money. You don't want to be sitting on too much money. Money loses its purchasing power. Uh, there are times when cash is king, and we're in sort of one of those periods right now, but uh, you can you can invest in things that you know about if you know about comic books or if you want to go into collectibles or art or records there are there are things you can put your money in that on average have gone up uh, over an extended period of time no I've got 130 grand <laughs> scooty i don't have 30 grand scared to buy crypto mm, depends on the crypto beat I've got like 300 in savings <laughs> just the college in the UK Scooty one of the by the way one of the best places you can invest in is yourself so if you got 130 grand check sitting in a checking account for example uh, uh, Eagles and Cycling or anyone else you have a ton of money set, sitting in a safe savings account or a checking account right sitting in the bank and you're trying to save money on buying cheap food then start taking some of that money and buying yourself organic food homegrown food healthy food good food if you need to get back into shape and you don't know how to do that hire a physical trainer or a dietitian to guide you right that's going to cost you money but what you're doing is you're investing in yourself that includes if you want to learn something right this is some of the information we talked about in the in our personal finance playlist on sensor tube if you go to personal finance playlist on sensor tube we talked a lot about that stuff right so if you want to learn something take some of that money that's sitting in the bank sign up for a course learn something learn programming learn mathematics learn a language learn whatever you want to learn right once you invest in yourself then your health improves that means you don't have to spend money if you get you know you get sick less if your health improves and uh Healthcare costs are the number one reason of people going bankrupt, right? So you're preventing, it's preventative. You're preventing yourself from going under those types of financial pressures. You're learning something, so you could always use that knowledge towards something, right? Let's say you want to learn bookkeeping. So you can do your own bookkeeping. You can learn, do your own accounting. You can do your own taxes. You can, you can do whatever, right? You want to learn how to invest, take an investment course figure out how the stock market works and start managing your own money maybe right so invest in yourself eat better food that's one of the best places you can invest in i've seen people take money and just keep on putting it in wall street meanwhile they buy like oh stuff that i don't even consider consider to be food uh instead of buying healthy food because they're broke uh, uh, to me that's cuckoo that's cuckoo elder god and elder god says this to eagles and cycling got to invest 10 percent just to taste i agree you need to risk a little bit right take a little bit of funds and just play with the market and see where it takes you it's like learning how to play poker you'll never know how to play poker unless there is money on the table right i've known people say oh we play we play poker without money or without something on the line well, if you, there, there's nothing on the line to lose or gain, then you're not really playing poker. You're playing cards. It's a different game. It's a different thing, right? You could play for favors, right? If you live in a house, oh, you play for, you make little, convert 
make chips based on chores around the house that you need to do right for you know a year has 52 weeks right and if you need to take out your garbage once every week then make 52 chips tokens that represent uh taking out the garbage right per week and if you're playing for chores around the house distribute those 52 chips to people that are in the house if there's two of you each person gets whatever 26 chips or four of you each person gets 13 chips of taking out the garbage right and then make to chips for other chores in the house distribute them between people in the house and start playing poker oh i raise you two weeks of taking out garbage right whoever wins gets all those chips and then they're allowed to give it out to people or something or figure out an another way to do it right you wouldn't care if you know the tech the Eddie G, it sounds like you do a lot of buying and selling Chicho. Do you mainly trade or do you invest and hold long term? Right now, I've mentioned to people it's a it's a trader's market and family has been trading. Lots of trading, lots of trading. Like sometimes the portfolio, uh family's portfolio, uh all of a sudden thirty percent is liquidated. <laughs> right. fun stuff <laughs> I'll put it in S&P yeah exactly so I was thinking Ethereum you can invest 30 pounds just to understand the benefits of a good call yeah Ronnie wheat stocks def definitely crashed hard not sure why it did but I'm holding a decent bag and won't sell though one of the reasons the cannabis stocks are under pressure because it's not legalized federally in the United States of America so what that means a lot of banks uh, will not deal with them. A lot of investment companies will not deal with them because their cannabis is classified Schedule One substance without any medical benefit, which we know it's not true, right? States have legalized it, right? But what that means, it limits the amount of access they will have for funds, right? Some of them don't need it. They're cash flow positive. They're making mint money, right? So that's one of the reasons. Uh, mind you cannabis companies have been on a tear for the last two weeks okay so we'll see where they go and disclaimer family still even though liquidated half the positions blew them out uh or more uh family is still holding uh certain things long on cannabis b do your research on s some and buy the ones you like i'd say you start with privacy coins yeah Private coins, I agree with Pete. Eddie G, Ronnie, a lot of the cannabis stocks uh, jump because of uh, supposedly legislation to legalize cannabis in the United States that never materialized. Indeed, the Biden administration is probably probably one of the worst things to happen to the cannabis industry. Right? A broker is a very personal choice, Elder God says. You have to have a good relationship with them and keep it local if possible. Start indeed, Joe chicho i want to buy some beyond meat a few years ago but it was uh it was six pounds uh six pounds for two burgers <laughs> way too expensive for me at the time not sure what the price is like now yeah i'm not sure um during the summer last summer we bought some of the sausages and they were reasonably priced uh they weren't that expensive uh, and they tasted good barbecue like like too good like addictive good and you knew it wasn't good for you you could just feel it mc mike hey guys what's up what's going on back from front lines from the alberta montana border yesterday what an awesome experience awesome awesome i wish i could join you i wish i could join you if it was summer i might have gone out i might have drove it driven across uh come over to alberta Tell us what it was uh, in our Discord, uh, MC Mike. If this was current events, I'd say let us know what it is. Scooty, I have a small uh, retro video game collection. Nice. I used to buy and sell retro games as a side hustle, but I haven't scored anything for a while now. Yeah, Scooty, wow. Some of those games are worth mint. Like, they're worth really, they're 
prices have gone through the roof ronnie i'm saving cash because i plan on purchasing a property this year oh nice ronnie i have the appetite of a buffalo right now it's scary nice ronnie agree people forget to invest in themselves yeah 100 percent. invest in yourself best place to invest in game really yourself your family your community ronnie take courses and further investment in learning for elevated career goals yeah scooty i actually bought a piano recently which i've wanted to learn to play for years but i haven't touched it pianos the pianos are fun we've for the longest time our family had piano again we went through periods some played it some didn't Alagos says, well, no favorite of mine. I still have my Commodore 64 with games, but I could never sell it. Yeah, good idea, Alagos, not selling it. Uh, Scooty, some guy gave me an NES on Facebook Marketplace for free. Fully working and all. Nice. I got NES systems. Uh, Cheryl Chicho, what do you think of uh, side business investment ops like hard money lending or fa uh, factoring? I'm not sure what the factoring is hard money lending i know i have some issues with the housing um, issues associated with questionable flippers or landlords using hard money brokers but otherwise can't quite assess whether it's actually decent and so uh so thing uh i guess the if you if i understand you correctly um the lenders uh in bc we have them as well there are, there are lenders that will lend you money outside of the banking uh the big banks right so if you can't get money loaned to you to make a large purchase purchase usually a property from a bank then you can go to some of the secondary lenders but they charge you a higher interest right so if you can get a mortgage with the bank at five percent let's say the secondary lenders you can get it there at like nine percent right or eight percent which is a hefty hefty amount of extra that you need to pay right it becomes dangerous because people are leveraging if that's uh what you're referring to cheryl i've known people who've done it um they were lucky to get be able to get out of that debt watch alpha chicho great afternoon from brazil salutations brazil master chicho i won't say master just chicho wanted to ask you a question i've heard alan Musk speak about um on a video do you think there will be some kind of universal basic income in the near future especially with more and more automation of work sorry if this is a di different or too much divergent point to discuss uh have a lovely day uh no it's on the ball uh watch alpha um it, ubi universal basic income is something that uh will be rolled out in certain places right um it's problematic i don't agree with it because what that's doing is making people dependent on a centralized system and what's happening right now is centralized systems are collapsing right faith in government is gone right and what most governments have shown is that they are completely draconian so if you become a candidate for universal basic income right first thing you have to understand is you better have a side hustle you better you better not just rely on this money for your life for your family's life because what will happen and is already happening is these centralized powers will pass laws and make you jump through hoops to be able to get your monthly income right so what will happen is let's say they want you all all citizens who are on universal basic income to have a medical procedure and if you don't agree they will cut your funding right they will cut you off which they have done in canada uh to certain people right so it becomes problematic 
uh, mainly I'm against universal basic income and I think it's a trap um, it's more it's gonna lead to more centralization of power okay and it's one step towards enslavement of humanity uh, I think it's a bad idea I think it's a bad idea Smokey Joe when you say family's portfolio are you talking about your family's personal trading account I'm talking about family it's it it, it I'm making it broad okay I'm making it broad because it really doesn't make a difference whose it is uh, how close they are to me okay I just say family Ultima series, nice. Uh, C C sixty four back in nineteen eighties, nice, nice, nice. Gaming conversation going on. He goes, uh, so cool. He still won't. What is the difference between local and an online stock brokers? Um, stock brokers, it, I think you just want to get the best stock broker you can. There are different brokers though, uh, for different things you want to buy and sell elder god uh, can direct you you know can clarify what he meant with that but uh in regards to wall street brokerage houses and stuff like this you just want the one that charges the least amount of fees and you can do all the trading that you want okay mc mike chicho i'll share some photos under the COVID 19 channel maybe write about the experience too awesome mc mike that'd be great um, I'm trying to keep track of what's going on all over Canada right now. Uh, and I think a few people are on their Discord page, right? Padre, 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 how are you doing? Hey, guys, the way I view financing is always trying to position myself a little bit better. Like, I know I have good times and bad times. So in the good times, I try to position myself better for the bad times. Well said. I to make those bad times go smoother and make it easier to get back to the good times awesome well put padre and paraphrasing that preserving capital is very important and padre continues i gave my brother all my nintendo 64 games at the beginning of 2020 and i've I just watched them go up and up and up and up yeah in value yeah for sure lucky for me i have I've, i have a whole bunch of n64 games and consoles and controllers and uh accessories right i went through a whole uh, major n64 buying spree in the early 2000s i got a whole bunch of games <laughs> and sega genesis and sega genesis and some other games I, it's just early 2000s i just went for it i bought a whole bunch of stuff i, I wanted fun 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 Ali God the Eagles and cycling these days old tech is God it's the greatest weapon against tech giant <laughs> nice Cheryl regarding factoring factoring is buying long-term receivables for one to two percent not uh, not collection but my brain keeps uh, processing it as no stress collections. I don't know. Uh, I don't know about it, Cheryl. I don't know about it. If I'm reading this correctly, basically, it would be like a, a GIC or something. You're buying something long term to get one to two percent return. Is that what it is? I and I wouldn't personally. I would not put my money into anything that is giving one or two percent uh, because just personally i can flip for more uh depending on the investments right or the markets i'm in uh some some places if you're talking about huge money preserving capital is a great idea one to two percent is okay as well right but inflation right now in the united states is seven and a half percent that's what they're recognizing inflation is actually more like 15 to 20 percent so if you're making one to two percent it doesn't do anything right watch alpha thank you so much for uh answer very insightful uh, my pleasure alpha uh, i hope i'm wrong but unfortunately i think that's where uvi is going to lead to it's not going to be good for the long term 
Xander, UBI could also cause landlords to raise rents knowing their tenants have some extra cash uh, coming in. Yeah, yeah. It, it It's bad. Like, there's no good in UBI. It's only a band-aid as a temporary relief, and the temporary relief will last maybe a few months at best, and then the devastation of UBI will kick in, and it'll be exponential compound devastation as years go by d5 <laughs> d5 web3 nice lucian hopefully under 80 pa, pa, pa. padre doing good man awesome padre scooty i have an n64 with no controllers uh <laughs> I have extra controllers. Yeah. <laughs> you need minimum four controllers for N64. Minimum. Right? MC Mike. Okay, cool. If that doesn't work, I might store it on a, a file sharing platform. Uh, provide a link. I will try to stay away from Google. Cool. Uh, Joe Chicho. Andrew Yang makes a very compelling case for the need for UBI given the fact that more and more jobs falling to automation appear to be inevitable there will definitely need to be a shift in society to prevent prevent it collapsing altogether uh joe andrew yang can kiss my ass that guy is a clown and a half and he's just the agent of the centralized power okay one of the reasons we know this is because he wants julian assange persecuted okay he's a so andrew yang is just garbage and his reasons of ubi that i've i've seen talking about automation and stuff like this that's just smoke and mirrors uh the main reason andrew yang has been pushing ubi is because he wants more centralization of power and control over humanity he's just a puppet he's just another agent of the centralized power uh he's delusional okay or he's just lying and Google's level everything says jaded mask how are you doing thoughts on low risk betterment profiles investing as a chron 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 chronically anxious zoomer <laughs> chronically anxious zoomer thoughts on low risk betterment uh profiles jaded man what is a low risk betterment profile <laughs> no idea what that is is that self-improvement i'm 100 for it i'm 100 for it getting healthier uh hiring a dietitian or a uh, personal trainer to get you in shape joining groups uh, may they be gaming groups or sporting uh, groups and stuff like this to be you know have some exercise uh cooking group to make better food uh if that's what it is, I'm 100% for it. Taking classes to learn something new. Nice. I'll check it out. Just got some photos. Cheryl, if a company has a contract with an um, invoice for $10,000 on a net 30, but they need the cash flow, I'd buy the receivable for $9,900 and pocket 100 once paid. Numbers are a bit better than that okay uh, okay now i know what you're talking about yeah it's fine and dandy in good times uh cheryl and when the receivables are you know sometimes large companies they don't pay out for three months three or four months so you need to carry that debt for that long a period of time and what happens if all of a sudden there's a hiccup in the markets which there could be and this is one thing that happened with Nortel Networks in the late 1990s and 2000 when the tech bubble burst. Nortel Networks was, as a Canadian company, was one of the top companies in the world, tech companies in the world with the most amount of patents. It was considered to be uh, the forerunner, um, to be the biggest large tech company in the world, right? And they had a lot of receivables out to multiple companies. And then the interest rates went through the roof all of those companies or not all of them many of them went bankrupt and all of those receivables became write-offs right so you have to make sure you're not overextended with that type of deal if you're taking on that uh buying you're basically buying debt right you're basically buying debt if i understand it correctly scooty i want to 
hoary mini pod mini pad but i don't want to spend 70 pounds on a controller i don't know the hoary mini pad betterment is a portfolio investing site oh really jaded mask i don't know uh betterment jaded mask if you're on discord link it up for us in personal finance i'll take a look at it i've never heard it i heard it before betterment cool mc mike oh i didn't see that okay let me put it in there i'm gonna have to store okay cool you guys are loading up stuff on uh discord nice 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 fun personal finance good points and helpful thanks my pleasure cheryl yeah and that's the thing you're you're buying debt right and interest rates are rising and a lot of people are leveraged so it's a problem right like one of the things i can tell you is family is got out of any investment where there wasn't an they either didn't have a strong cash position uh minimum strong cash position uh, but preferably had a positive cash flow right so because if interest rates going to go on the rise a lot of companies are going to be seriously under pressure and if they rise the way some people are predicting they're going to rise basically you can kiss half the companies in the world goodbye they're going to go bankrupt okay Lucian, I have never bought stocks, only cryptos. The roller coaster is fun. Yeah, it, it, and it's the same deal, Lucian. Same deal. There are, I, I know people that have never bought stocks and they trade cryptos up the yin yang. And I know people that only trip, uh, trade stocks on Wall Street and have never dabbled in cryptos. And I know people that do both. Boop, 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 boop. Right? Which is 100% fine. Pick a market you like and go crazy uh one of the things though the benefits of in canada anyway of trading certain stocks um thank you for the follow uh fever in canada we have something called the tfsa account tax-free savings account where all the trades in that account that occur are not subject to capital gains tax right so i know cryptos don't no country offers that for cryptos right if they did that'd be great right so the problem with trading stocks and cryptos that aren't in a type of account where you don't have to recognize the capital gains is you have to pay capital gains on your gains, which could be devastating, right? So just imagine you have a trading account where you can trade and no taxes on capital on your gains. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Elder God says if Facebook dies soon, I will dance naked through town with the sign return to my face, my space. <laughs> awesome. And family almost bought puts on Facebook today. Ashir Ashir First time chat. Bog. <laughs> Salutations. Welcome to our live stream. hello hello i hope you're doing well i don't have the market open right now so i don't know what the what the wall street is doing right now aching to check by the way i check the markets uh, every day uh, i get up at you know 4 30 uh, 5 o'clock the latest in the morning and go through a morning ritual check all financials check all financial news coming in political news coming in and stuff like this it's it's an amazing experience gang these are amazing times this is our world is going through major changes there are legacy companies legacy systems that are completely collapsing there's disruptive innovation that is wow, taking over and it is amazing watching the symphony take place if you are interested in history politics economics society current events I don't care what your interests are that are centered around humanity uh, these are interesting times to be alive so much to consume elder god and it's all information 
elder god actually i never left my space it's still active and a lot of my real music uh artists still use it cool cool i still have a myspace account too i don't know that's worth something on it but poor myspace got nuked because he wouldn't sell out from what i understand joe chicho i had no idea yang supported pr uh, prosecuting assange his views on israel and palestine also ran his uh new york mayor campaign into the ground when he was leading uh, at one point okay yeah i don't like yang i didn't i, I don't like any of those dams that were uh, putting on a circus in uh, in uh, but that's politics life is music life is music life is a symphony life is a symphony lots of amazing music and we had music lyrics last week i'll have those uh music lyric uh, what do you call it uh, uh lyrics uh, the stream up probably towards the end of the week probably towards the end of the week fun stuff should we take a look at the market let's see what the market's doing i'm gonna look gang i have to look this is amazing times amazing times let's see where we're at oh nice <laughs> market down by the way gang the reason i'm saying market down so right now the dow is down almost 400 points and the nasdaq is down almost 100 points and the reason i'm saying nice is because family has a lot of puts on a lot of companies um, or has puts on companies so it's uh, it's nice it's nice there are some call plays as well but um, there are some put plays okay Allah God best to die on your feet than bowing to the machine online online time online time yeah yeah you don't I think this is in regards to the UBI we, we don't you don't want to be dependent on and it's not just UBI uh, one bit of financial advice I can give some uh, give you guys and this is something I gave from the first videos we put out do not be dependent on the centralized system for your life okay do not do it um, because most central institutions are collapsing and they will continue to collapse uh, confidence is gone and there's going to be turmoil in the markets and both on the political front and on the economic front um, there is industries which will do well but there's going to be a lot of problems so be careful out there gang be careful out there make sure you're not compromising yourself and your family and you're not putting yourselves you're not um, overextending to a level where uh, there will be a lot of pain for what you need to do Alagos, sorry, I was referring to the old days of Chicho and uh, Tunnel Vision. Yeah, we were focused. If you're, if that's what you're referring to regarding certain things, right? Regarding certain things, but interesting times. Interesting times. Fun. Oh. I got a little bit of cookie here too. Check this out. It's like a chocolate. I'm gonna break it. Check this out. This has got like chocolate inside. This is a lot. this is not eating healthy, by the way, gang. And it's got macadamia nuts and caramel. And it's quite yummy. Beat says, have you done any research on tap water versus mineral water? Uh, in the past, I did. Depends where you live, right? Like, we live in a place where the water is not bad. It's got a lot of chlor chlorine, so we run filter. Uh, so we drink tap water, but we run it through a filter to get rid of the chlorine and some of the other whatever it picks up 
Um, in the past, you could just drank tap water many, many years ago when I was a kid. But water situation around the world is becoming worse and worse. Fresh water. Joe, Chicho, what are some resources you would recommend for learning about economics, trading, and stock market? I would say the best thing. <laughs> first time chat, then cop. What? <laughs> um, I would say, uh, Joe, uh, the best thing you can do is invest. In Investopedia is really good investopedia.ca or .com here let me see make sure i can find the link for you bum, ba -da -dum, bum. Um, yeah investopedia.com is really good okay so you can you should have this open and like the best way to go about it I sh we should do a stream where i sort of go through this with you guys and I think we have this website is really good. It's like a dictionary, right? So Investopedia is good. And then I would recommend creating a watch list on a platform where you can track stocks, right? Create a watch list and go to that watch list on a daily or minimum weekly, minimum weekly, preferably daily, right? Make a watch list of like 10 stocks you want to follow. Start with five even or one or two, but at least have enough where you're getting daily updates and news releases, right? So create a watch list of 10. I have multiple watch lists. Some of them have like dozens of companies on them. Some of them are categorized based on cannabis. Some are categorized based on mining. Some are categorized based on this, 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 short, long, blah, blah, right? And what I do in the mornings, I go to those watch lists and I check the news feed coming up, right? I also see when the uh, their financials are going to be released, right? Their earnings are going to be released. And I try to keep track of what happens when the earnings are released to a stock. And I and I read their uh, at minimum summary of their uh, earnings report, right? Just to see what what's going on. And if you break these things into watch lists based on categories then you get a feel of what's happening in a certain um certain industry right and that slowly you'll start to understand the game at play and what's connected with what and when you're reading these uh financials their er earnings report or the summary of the earnings what you can do is look up certain terms in investopedia right so for example one of the base ones you have to look at is PE price to earnings ratio so open up Investopedia go to or any other investment website I just use Investopedia it's good look up what PE means and read it and that's all usually just ratios right so slowly you acquire knowledge and you'll get a feel of how things work that's what I would recommend Joe that's what I would recommend. It's time consuming, but it's worth it. Hello, God, no. I was referring to the old stream with computer information on stream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The screenshots. We'll, we'll do more of those. We will. Yeah. With the tables and stuff like this, as well as sharing the screen. Yeah, I want to do more of that with personal finance for sure. I want to do more of that with personal finance for sure. Compare the company to its uh, self historically or to others in the same industry. Both, Lucien. Both. You look at the what the company has done over an extended period of time. So you look at the chart, right? And you can take a look at their earnings on a quarterly basis or a yearly basis. Are their earnings increasing, decreasing quarterly, early, year, uh, yearly? Is it a cyclic? A business where certain months of the year it goes down it's less than other months and stuff like this as well as how they're uh, what those companies are doing relative to other companies their competition that's extremely important as well right so both both okay very important very important Ch -ch -ch. 
first time chat mr over creel kin covery covery alkin first time chat hello how are you doing i brutalize your name mister sanato sanor lala lana sanor lana first time chat hello hello hope you're doing well welcome to our live stream we're almost towards the end how are you happy valentine's thanks happy valentine's to you as well did you get any cards or cookies this isn't a valentine's cookie but it's a cookie i hope you're enjoying chocolate chip cookies or chocolate cookies or your favorite type of cookie yeah and some tea gang should we call the stream it's about an hour and a half a little bit more but it might be a good time to just chill with what we talked about because we don't want to really go into the politics aspect of things uh, the little chaos going on in the world do crypto holders exercise the same type of magnitude of influence over the organization as a shareholder would no no there are whales out there and they definitely do influence the price of a certain crypto or they can okay uh, there are certain cryptos out there that the majority of shareholders have an interest in how that crypto behaves okay um, and they do manipulate the price of the cryptos and pump and dump and stuff like this but that occurs in any market uh, but it's not cryptos are not a company unless a company is adopting a certain type of crypto to be uh, its main primary fundraising mechanism right so it, it's not the same it's not the same as far as I know anyway as far as I know is there any cryptos you had in mind Lucian uh, like Bitcoin and Ethereum and stuff they're not uh, the major holders of Bitcoin Ethereum Monero uh, they don't really have a say in how the developers do uh, but the holders don't thanks for the perspective all these future my pleasure as far as I know Lucian uh, there might be cryptos out there that do but I wouldn't personally be involved in them unless I love their business model and you'd be considered to be a seed investor in the company uh, if uh, that's the way I would look at it uh, if there's anything out there that uh, the holders of the of the coin uh, they're almost like securities basically uh, have a say in how the business operates wealth gang why Google search engine is so bad with results is this uh, intentional yes it's intentional because it's Google is censored uh, duck duck go for the win I use duck duck go for 99% of my searches okay uh, because it's not censored uh, Google is censored it's uh, and most platforms that are censored they will be dying platforms uh, soon enough that's one of the reasons Facebook collapsed that's one of the reasons Twitter's collapsing right is because they censored so many people that they their business model was to bring more people into the onto their platforms but they got into the business of kicking people off their platforms oops their business model changed time to short the crap out of the company right because they got too big for their own knickers <laughs> right <laughs> hilarious 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 gang let's call the stream let's call the stream fun stuff fun stuff thank you for being here everyone if you want to know what this work is about lucian i'm thinking about um influence 
when one has govern governance tokens versus a typical level one blockchain i guess the holders influence depends how the crypto is programmed yeah if they're involved if because a lot of the whales were some of the early adopters of that crypto as is obvious some of the early adopters of those cryptos would have been some of the developers of the, of the crypto right so i don't know you can say the the main holders are can control what happens with that crypto but because we're in the early stages of this the majority of the whales are the developers of that crypto so they influence it so one doesn't beget the other um, it's just we have one because some of these cryptos are in the early stages of development uh, i hope i don't know if i made myself clear on that but and and, as, and that's as far as i know there's like what fifteen thousand cryptos out there now so there might be some that are uh outside of the parameters that i'm thinking about right but in the open market ideal market the the holders of the crypto should not uh, uh, have a say in how the crypto functions and as far as i know there haven't been there's been people that have voted on splitting like bitcoin cash and stuff this happened years ago where uh some of the developers voted on splitting certain cryptos to go in a certain way right classic ethereum classic this that that, that. i don't think that was based on how many coins they had i think that was based on uh, uh their opinion based on a developer joe chicho who are some of your favorite content creators who focus on economics and trading um uh, martin armstrong okay armstrong economics uh wolf street is really good zero hedge i follow um Paul Craig Roberts is really good. Um, Michael Hastings, I follow even, and, and as you can tell, I don't, uh, I agree with everything they all have to say. I like to get a nice perspective of what's going on. Uh, Michael Hastings is really good. Uh, and following economics means you have to follow politics. So there's a lot of political people that I follow, such as Pepe Escobar talking about Asia and the one role, one belt, and connects it all. and and there's so much it just expands from there. the duran talking about uh the politics economics of north stream 2 and turkmenistan da, 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 going all over the place so you have to have a really large perspective but when it comes to specifically economics martin armstrong blog fantastic uh wolf street is really good zero hedge is really good um oh, what's the other one? Oh man i forgot the other one um yeah th those are the ones that come to mind right now i have to look at my bookmarks i always look at my book bookmarks and i and i go okay th check that one out check that one out check that one out check that one out right and i could you know i link up a lot of stories from a lot of those sites on our discord page as well in the personal finance and economics uh, folders as well crazy bro athens how are you doing I hope everyone's well uh hi everyone hope you are all doing fine indeed indeed we're coming in at the end of the stream and gang thank you for being here thank you for the discussion and thank you for sharing information if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this as well as the support we're getting on twitch sanor lana say say nor lana hi hope you are well what are some some of the stuff beginners should study about if i want uh if i want to tr uh if you want to trade stocks uh look look up any stock in any financial website and then they'll have some of the metrics of that website uh, of that stock like for example the pe ratio the peg yield uh number of outstanding shares market cap look up all that stuff 
and take those words or those ratios and look up online what they mean okay so first order of business in getting into trading stocks is to understand what the terminology is you have to learn the language okay so that's what you need to do and also create a watch list follow those stocks that you're interested in and read up on the news that's being their their news feed uh, especially read up their uh, earnings reports and stuff like this okay and gang those of you supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support thank you for being here thank you for the discussion and mods thank you for taking care of business and gang do not forget do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor 2. And you're very welcome, Lana. My pleasure. We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VK Gap, Parlor Getter, and BitCloud. You can follow the work there, and we also have a Discord page. Discord. You can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want. Type an exclamation mark, mark Discord, and the link will pop up. And you can click on that link, and that's the invite for you and the links will be in the description of this video once it's been loaded on the other platforms one of them being soundcloud free julian assange elder god receives 100 points and we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and you can follow this podcast on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play bless you all you as well lana and this live stream will be loaded on sensor tube on bitchute on rumble and on odyssey and for those of you supporting this work on all of these platforms gang thank you very much for the support for the follow and for the discussions aside from that i'll be uploading um segments in the lot next week or so and probably the music live stream as well and we'll most likely have two more live streams next sunday and monday that seems to be our sort of schedule for now okay aside from that i hope you have a fantastic week and i'll see you guys on discord bye everyone